गुड इवनिंग ऑल गुड इवनिंग सर concept so let's start with that let's start with the question let's continue with the question sir yeah 11 okay I think how how many questions we have solved? I think two questions we have solved or no? Number of common tangents. Am I correct? How many questions we solved, guys? Hello. Two or three. Hello. Two, I think. Let's start both like. Let me show it to you. Not two man. We have solved four questions. Okay, the next question. If if the two circles, if the two circles. This one x minus one all square. Plus y minus three whole square is equal to one square, and x square plus y square minus eight x plus two y minus plus eight is equal to zero. Intersect in two distinct points. Then, distinct point. Then, then the re, then the what is then he has given the conditions. Option A, option B, option C, option D. Okay. Ha. Huh. See here, two circles. Two circles, this one and this one, intersect in two disjoint points, two different points, intersecting in two different points. Then what would be the condition of that? What is the condition of that? See, guys, I have given you the several conditions. I have given five conditions. Among them, which condition we are going to use here? Among them. Which condition we have to use? Tell me. Intersecting two distinct points. How the diagram is going to be looked at this? Way. This is how the diagram. Okay. Look at this now. Intersecting two distinct points. Am I correct? All right. So, basically. Let us find out. Look at this. Let us find out what is C one here. So let us consider this as minus C one and a C two. I mean, circle one and circle two. What is the center of the circle one? 
what is sir center of the circle one what is the center of the second circle what is the center of the first circle what is zero comma zero no 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 dekos zero comma zero nahi ho sakta hai how come the zero comma zero if at all my circle is x square plus y square is equal to r square or a square basically the center of the circle is going to be zero comma zero correct so the circle the given circle is looking like looking in the form of sir yeah look at it this is how it is looking like then what is the center here h comma k comma k you know it's a compare with h comma k what is center is going to be 1 comma 3 am i correct then how come you say it's a 0 comma 0 no right what is the radius what is the radius of the circle 1 In fact, let us say this is radius one. So this is my center one. What is radius one here? One. Am I correct? Yes, sir. So let us keep uh, this thing for a while aside. Let us keep this thing aside for a while. Yes. Now let us talk about a circle, second circle. What is the center of the second circle? Tell me directly. ये तो minus है, ये तो plus है. So it is going to be four plus comma minus one minus one. Perfect. What is the radius? It is going to be. What is the radius? It is going to be. Tell me. Square root of four square sixteen plus one minus eight. Am I correct? Seventeen minus eight gives me what? Nine. Three. Three is going to be my radius too. So basically, whatever the question it gives you, if he is talking about number of common tangent concept, listen to me carefully. If he is talking about number of common tangents, if he is talking about any concept related to number of common tangents, like you know, intersecting in two distinct points, intersecting externally, intersecting internally, disjoint circles, one circle inside the other circle. If at all he is talking about these type, if at all he is talking about these type of statements. Then you must always find out center one, center two, okay, radius one, radius two. Then compare. Then see. Look at this here. Now, what is going to be my C one, C two? Whatever the data you got here, you just compare with the condition. So, what is the condition basically? So, whenever you, whenever two circles intersect like this, what is the condition I have given to you? Condition? क्या था? बताइए मुझे. Condition. What was the condition? Don't you remember this? This was the condition. Am I correct? R one minus R two is lesser than C one C two is lesser than R one plus R two. Check. करलो एक बार. Guys, this is the condition I have given to you. R one minus R two is lesser than C one C two is lesser than R one plus R two. The questions which we have solved earlier, in those questions he has not given any the data, any you know any kind of hint that intersecting in two distinct points. Hmm? Touching externally, touching internally. He has not given such data. Simply, he was asking us to find number of common tangents, right? But look at the question. Look at this question. He has given a hint that two circles intersect at two different points. Hmm? Then already we know the condition that R one minus R two is lesser than C one C two, which is lesser than R one plus R two. Just substitute here. That's it. Substitute here. What you are going to get? First, we should know what exactly the C one C two, which means what is the distance between these two centers? Here, yeah, this is my center one. This is my center two. All right. This is my radius one. In fact, this is my radius two. In fact, am I correct? Second radius. So, chalo. So first, let us find out C one C two. What is the distance between C one and C two? Apply the distance formula. Four minus one, and four minus one, one minus four. three. So let me write directly four minus one three three square. Root thirty two, sir. Root thirty two. Final answer. And, uh, Minus one is close to sixteen. How much? Okay. Not root thirty two. How come root thirty two? Five. Twenty five here. So five. five. Am I correct? Hmm. So what is R one minus R two here? R one minus R two is what? What is R one minus R two? With modulus or without modulus? R one minus R two. Look at this here. Okay. R one is one minus. Then two, sir. Three. It is going to be two. Am I correct? R one yeah. plus R two is what? What is R one plus R two? Four. Four. Now just compare here. Compare. 
Come with the things here. Tell me which options will be correct. Yes, look at this here. The condition is because it's R12 is lesser than 5 is lesser than 4. The condition itself 2 lesser than 5, fine, but 5 can't be lesser than 4. Then somewhere look at this here. Then you make this as R here. They go. Let's go make this as R. Radius 1 is not 1 here. You make this as R, R square. Then what exactly the condition is going to be here? Here, radius is R. Change karlo isko. Then look at this here. Get my point. See, that is not one here, that is R. Correct? Now look at this here. What is my R1 minus R2? R1 minus R2 is going to be what? R minus 3. Am I correct? What is C1, C2? Already I got 5. What is R1 plus R2? R1 plus R2 is what? R plus 3. Am I correct? Ah. Now let us use this condition. Let us consider this as a star equation. So from the star condition, from the star condition, see here modulus of r minus 3 lesser than 5 lesser than r plus 3. Clear? So here I can take cases here, two cases. This is a number one case. This is a number two case. Am I correct, guys? So can I take the case one? Case one. Guys. Here, modulus of r minus 3 is lesser than 5 is the number 1 case. What is case 2? 5 is lesser than r plus 3. 5 is lesser than r plus 3. Okay? Here, if 5 is lesser than r plus 3, what is exactly r is going to be here? r is greater than 2. Am I correct? Am I correct? Yes. They got a 5 minus 3 lesser than r. So, 2 lesser than r. So, so 2 lesser than r is nothing but r is greater than 2. Am I correct? Correct. Huh. Look at this here. This is what he has given. Perfect. Now, look at this here. Huh. Here again, I'll be having two cases. What are these? Here, modulus of r minus 3 has given. So, can we, can we write that as? R, you know, plus R minus R minus 3 lesser than 5. So plus R minus 3. Tell me what could be the condition? Like, you know, done. I'm done with the answer. You no, know, R greater than 2 here. Find out the answer. R greater than 2. R greater than 2. So option B deleted. Option C deleted. It could be either D option or A option. They could check. Karlo. It could be D option or A option. Either A or D. Option B and C got deleted. There is no possibility of getting B and C option. Am I correct? R is not good. R is not equal to 2. R is not less than 2. R is greater than 2 here. So greater than 2, greater than 2, I am just getting an option A and option D. Now tell me the option. Final answer. Decide the option. Which option is going to be correct? Which option is going to be correct? Decide it. Make it first. Very simple, beta. They go here. R minus 3 lesser than 5 I have given. See, let us not talk about two cases. If I talk about two cases, look at this here. R minus 3, let me take less than 5. So R is lesser than what? 5. 8, sorry. Clear? So R should be greater than 2 and lesser than 8, which means R lies between 2 and 8. Am I correct? R lies between. This is what the case. See, from this and from this. What is the condition I can write? See here, R is greater than 2, lesser than 8. R is greater than 2, lesser than 8. R is greater than 2, lesser than 8. This is what the answer. Which option is going to be correct now? Which option is going to be correct? Option A. Sir, how, how you took R minus 3 here? Why can't we take minus R, minus of R minus 3? 
लेसर देन फाइव चेक कर लो माइनस आर प्लस थ्री लेसर देन फाइव देखो ये कहां से पॉसिबल हो सकता है समझ में आ रहा है आपको गेट माई पॉइंट पीपल थ्री डिस्क भी नेगेटिव करेक्ट इज एंड इट गेटिंग माई पॉइंट पीपल वाई टू कार माइनस थ्री देर आर यू गेटिंग अपने मॉडुलस को हटाएंगे तो क्या मिलेगा मुझे प्लस आर माइनस एक्स हमें करेक्ट सर वही और टेकिंग प्लस एक्स ओनली हियर वही और नॉट टेकिंग माइनस एक्स भाई ये मुझे माइनस में मिल रहा है जस्ट सॉल्व इट इफ यू वांट टू सॉल्व यू कैन सॉल्व इट एंड चेक इट आउट परफेक्टली चेक इट आउट परफेक्टली लुक इट इज माइनस आर लेस देन 5 माइनस 3 माइनस 2 ये कहां से पॉसिबल हो सकता है देखो ठीक है नाउ सर हां मुझे ऐसे भी करना है आई नीड टू सॉल्व लाइक दिस एज़ वेल लुक एट दिस हियर मल्टीप्लाई द माइनस ऑन बोथ सो आर ग्रेटर देन आर ग्रेटर देन माइनस 2 देखो अगेन आई एम नॉट गेटिंग अवे सो द ओनली पॉसिबल क्रिएटिव केस इज व्हाट हियर आर लेसर देन 8 एंड ग्रेटर देन 2 सो व्हिच मींस आर लाइज बिटवीन 2 एंड 8 सो व्हिच ऑप्शन इज सैटिस्फाइंग हियर ऑप्शन ए क्लियर एनी डाउट्स पीपल एनी डाउट्स गाइस एनी डाउट्स हेलो राइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो एग्जामिंग एग्जामिंग टू सर्किल्स एक्स स्क्वायर वन सेकेंड एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस Yes, solve this question. See, examine, examine this one and this one. Touch each other externally or internally. Examine internally or externally. See, आपको definitely, guys, for solving this question easily, you should know all the conditions. You should know all the condition. You should know all the conditions. Make it fast. I'm writing the next question. You just make sure that you are solving the question which we have there. will touch one another externally he is asking us to find condition option a 1 by a square minus 1 by b square is equal to 1 by c square option b 1 by a square plus 1 by b square minus 1 by c square option c One by a square plus one by b square is equal to one by c square. Option D, none. Make it fast. See here, he is asking us to find examine. If the two circles, this one and this one, touch each other externally or internally, then how can you examine that? How can you identify that? 
Tell me. Let us find out center one here. What is the center one directly? One comma two. Am I correct? If at all the center one is one comma two, then what is the radius one? One square is one. Two square is four. Minus c. Guys, you know what is the c value here? In the circle, in the first circle, we don't have c value. Just observe it properly. We don't have c value. So let us take it as zero, which means r one is going to be square root of five. Correct? Now what is center two? What is center two? What is the center of the second circle? Center two is nothing but center of the second circle, right? So what is the second circle's center? Tell me. I don't have x coefficient here, which means zero comma four. Am I correct? Zero comma four. Am I correct? Am I correct, guys? R two is going to be what? Zero square is zero square is zero plus four square sixteen minus of minus c value is what here? Four. So minus c to minus plus. So Plus four, so r is r two is going to be square root of twenty. Square root of twenty gives you what? Five root two, not five root two. Two root five, two root five. Am I correct? Square root of twenty is nothing but two root five. Right? Ha, huh. guys, he is asking us that whether these two circles touch each other externally or internally. Whether they are touching externally or internally. Then how can you just examine that? Look at this. So basically, look at this here. Now, what is C one C two? Finally, I am going to C one C two find out. Tell me, C one C two is what? Distance between C one and C two square root of this and that. How much? Square root of uh, okay, one square is one. Two square is how much? Four. Am I correct? Root five. I am getting. Am I correct, guys? So C one C two is root five. I am getting. Distance between center one and center two is root five. Ha! Ah, look at this here. Now, what exactly you can see from R two and R one? Can I do R one minus R two? R one minus R two is as what? Root five minus two root five. How much I'm getting? Root five only, right? I'm getting my point. Are, are you getting my point, guys? Are you are you understanding here? Hello, people. Yes. Yes. Ah, so so, ध्यान से सुनिए. Very important concept. बहुत अच्छा concept. ठीक है. बहुत अच्छा concept. देखो here, here. Even C is root five, and so so both are even C is R one minus R two. So when this condition would get, see, I am getting C one C two as root five and R one minus R two as also root five. So when this condition will get, when this condition will get, if two circles touch each other internally, okay, if Two circles, each other internally. So internally, these two circles are touching what? Internally. How they are touching? Internally, they are touching each other. Can you make my point? Any doubts, people? Hello. Perfect. Hello. If externally, what was the condition of externally? Tell me. What was the condition for externally? C one C two is equal to R one plus R two. This was the condition for externally. Internally condition is this one. Okay. Hope it is clear with everyone, guys. So external and internal conditions both are different to each other. Hope it is clear. Getting my point? Any doubts here? Any doubt, guys? Hello. I am talking to you only. Any doubts? Neeti, Anjali, Ritwik. See, I am requesting everyone that if at all you are not revising the notes, आपको बिल्कुल नहीं समझ में आएगा. मैंने गारंटी देता हूँ ये बात पे. आप नोट्स रिवाइज नहीं करके आ रहे हैं तो क्लास के क्लास को तो क्या करना है आपको? Notes revise करके आना चाहिए क्लास को प्लीज रिवाइज डू रिवाइज एंड कम टू द क्लास इफ यू आर नॉट रिवाइजिंग प्लीज डोंट अटेंड द क्लास आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल रिवाइज नोट्स एंड कम टू द क्लास आप नोट्स रिवाइज नहीं कर रहे हो तो क्या होगा आपको बताइए मुझे कुछ भी नहीं समझ में आएगा कुछ भी सब कुछ भी सब कुछ नया दिखेगा आपको सब कुछ वट एवर आई राइटिंग यर सब कुछ नया दिखेगा एवरी वट एवर आई राइट यर एवरी थिंग यू नो इट लुक्स लाइक फ्रेश कॉन्सेप्ट न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट So that is the reason I 
kept asking you that revise the notes and come to the class that gives you such a confidence that gives you like you know the great confidence to solve the questions which are giving in the class getting my point hello people are you getting my point yes sir yes so look at this here find the find the conditions when the condition of two circle in the circle whose equations are this one and this one will touch one another externally maine abhi bataya tha externally ka condition kya hota hai abhi bataya tha maine what is the condition of externally hello just now as a couple of seconds back what is the conditions when two circles touch each other externally bataiye mujhe c1 c2 is equal what is the condition hello beta c1 c2 r1 plus r2 a to condition bataya tha maine when two circles touch each other externally getting my point or not guys tell me hello ha now tell us let us write what is the circle one given here what is the circle one what is the first circle look at is here x square given in fact given then dhyan se suniye please try to listen the class carefully x square plus y square plus c square minus 2ax is equal to 0 this is a given first circle what is the second circle given x square plus y square plus c square minus 2by is equal to 0 this is the second circle am i correct am i correct so now guys from the given circles what is the center one here center one kaisa find out karte hai hum log minus g comma minus f so what is the center one here tell me what is the center one here so what is center one what is the center of the first circle ए कमा जीरो बेटा इसको क्या करेंगे हम लोग टू जी एक्स से कंपेयर करेंगे टू टू कैंसिल एक्स एक्स बिल कैंसिल व्हाट इज जी माइनस ये तो प्लस ये मिलेगा मुझे सेंटर में जैसा मैं करेक्ट सेंटर इज व्हाट माय ए कमा जीरो व्हाट इज सेंटर टू व्हाट इज सेकंड सर्किल सेंटर जीरो कमा बी एम आई करेक्ट हेलो गाइज एस आर नो वॉट इज रेडियस वन देन ए स्क्वायर प्लस जीरो स्क्वायर माइनस सी सी क्या है इधर कांस्टेंट है तो क्या करेंगे उसको माइनस सी स्क्वायर एज इट इज आर टू इज व्हाट सिमिलरली जीरो स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस सी स्क्वायर इनफैक्ट कांस्टेंट इज सेम सो व्हाट वुड यू गेट हियर नाउ आर वन इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस सी स्क्वायर एंड आर टू इनफैक्ट बी स्क्वायर माइनस सी स्क्वायर ठीक है क्लियर आर वन एंड आर टू गेट इन माई पॉइंट ये सर नो हेलो आर वन एंड आर टू क्लियर और नॉट हेलो गाइस नाउ फाइंड इट आउट यस गिवन अ कंडीशन कॉल्ड दिस टू सर्किल्स टच ईच अदर एक्सटर्नली तो मुझे क्या करना है ये ये एक कंडीशन है ना इसको यूज करना है आई हैव टू यूज दिस कंडीशन एंड टू गेट रिड ऑफ द यू नो आंसर लुक एट दिस हियर सो आई हैव टू यूज दिस कंडीशन to find out my answer he is asking us to find out the condition condition kya hota hai agar ye dono circle ye do circle touch each other externally theek hai what is the condition we will get that is what the question is all about so make sure that you are finding out the condition from these two circles make it fast
Guys, how many of you understood? How many of you understood the finding center one and center two here? Guys, understood how I found the center one and center two? Hmm. Hmm. Did you understand how I found center one and center two of these two circles? Yes, sir. Hmm. Then I got this radius. I got this radius one and radius two. Ha. Huh. When two circles touch each other externally, what is the condition? P one C two is equal to R one plus R two. Direct condition. आपको ये condition याद रखना होगा. I just gave clear cut proof. ठीक है? P one C two is equal to R one plus R two. Just substitute here. What is C one? Ha. Huh. Basically, just find out. See, आपको like Let me just give you one promise thing here. हर एक क्वेश्चन को सी वन सी टू डेफिनेटली यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट सी वन सी टू देखो वो तो कॉमन सेंस की बात है ठीक है वॉट इज द सेंटर वन एंड सेंटर टू आई मीन सी वन सी टू इज वॉट यूर आई मीन डिस्टेंस बिटवीन बोथ द सेंटर्स मी अरे यार डायरेक्टली ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर हमें करेक्ट हमें राइट हमें करेक्ट यस सो सी वन सी टू इज ए स्क्वायर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर परफेक्ट यस नो वॉट इज आर वन प्लस आर टू R1 plus R2 is what? Square root of a square minus c square plus square root of b square minus c square. ठीक है? So I need to add this one and this one here. If I add these two things, so what would I get? Look at this. Right? Yes. So a square plus b square is equal to. हाँ. Yes. We have been learning this thing from your school days, right? So whenever you have square roots, so what you have to do immediately to get rid of the square roots, what I have to do, just simply squaring on both sides. Am I correct? Squaring on both sides. Okay. So what would I get now? A square plus B square is equal. They go squaring on both sides. Old square here. Okay. So make sure that see many students make a mistake here only. See here what they write here. What they write, what they write here is, look, I shall write it. But children, what does it do? I shall write it. This is wrong. Okay, this is wrong way of writing here. See, guys, you have to make old square here. If you make a old square, what happens? A square plus B square. But this is A. This is my A. This is what my A here. Okay, this is my A and B plus two times of A and B. Am I correct? In fact, square root here. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Tell me, guys. So, what can I do here now? A square plus B square is equal to A square minus C square plus B square minus C square. See here. See here. Just make sure that you are multiplying these things, you know, properly. Look at this. So plus two times of this into this. Tell me, what would you get here? Tell me. But how can you just multiply these two things? Multiply it after that. Nothing you left with. Very simple. Make it fast. How can I multiply it? How can I multiply it? Look, I'm not getting answer from anyone. Look at this here, paper. Either if you observe this properly, look at this here. Two times of a square minus b square. Guys, look at this here. Can I cancel a square, a square on both sides, b square, b square on both sides? Can I do that? Of course, yes. So minus c square minus c square. So minus two times of c square. Can I just Can I just bring that minus two times of c square to the left hand side? Yes, right. Ha, huh. two times of. Now I just left with this again. A square minus c square. Hmm. Again, can I do squaring on both sides? Yes. I just left with square root again. हमको क्या करना चाहिए? Again squaring on both sides. फिर से. Again, squaring on both sides. Guys, make sure that you are solving so fast. The calculation, like you know, is it's not a big thing to do actually. It's not a big deal, right? 
so make sure that tell me Four c square is equal to four times of a square minus c square into b square minus c square. Am I correct? A to milta mujhe. Am I correct, guys? So four times of c square is equal to four times of a square b square minus a square c square minus c square b square plus c to the power of four. Am I correct? This is what I am getting here. Oh, in fact, c to the power of four here. देखो मैंने गलत लिख दिया इधर. Many of you are not saying anything. 2c square whole square 2c square whole square kya hota hai 4 to the power of 4 into c to the power of 4 4c to the power of 4 am i correct 4c to the power of 4 is equal to 4 times of a square b square minus 4 times of a square c square minus 4 times of c square b square plus 4c to the power of 4 can i cancel these two now so what i left with now what i left with here 4 times of a square b square is equal to Four times of a square c square plus four times of c square b square. Am I correct? Am I correct? Yes or no, guys? Tell me. Hello. Tell me, guys. Sir. Ah, देखो मेरा condition क्या है? What I need to get? I need to get in terms of. I need to get one by a square minus one by b square, something like that. I need to get. So, for getting in terms of that, what should I do here? Dividing with something. He said divide. Will do. A square, b square, c square. So, four a square, b square by a square, b square, c square. Okay. So, in fact, I can cancel four on other uh, all the sides here. Can I cancel? Can I cancel four on either of the sides? Hello, guys. तो मुझे क्या बचा है ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर सो ए स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाई ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर नाउ टेल मी विच ऑप्शन जो भी करेक्ट What is the answer? It's going to be. Tell me. Hello. Very simple. Here, yar. A square. A, a square. B square. A c square. A c square. B square. C square. B square. C square. Okay. So what would I left with here now? One by c square is equal to one by b square plus one by a square. If ये कौन सा बड़ी बात है? Calculate करने में देखो one by a square plus one by b square is equal. Option C is going to be correct. Clear? Any doubts here? Tell me. Make it fast. Any doubts? No, sir. Next question. Shall we go for the next question? Next question. Guys, this is this question also going to be a very very good question. Find C if the circles. Two x and x square plus y square is equal to c square. 
touch each other touch each other touch each other we have us he has given touch each other option a one option b two option c three option d four all right all right guys all right ha huh. guys what exactly he is talking about look at this here look at this properly find c this one and this one touch each other what i do not know whether they are touching internally or externally theek hai all right touch each other he has given one thing one thing surely that yes these two circles are touching but we are not sure whether they are touching internally or externally theek hai so how can i just identify how can i just get to know that whether they are touching internally or externally yes by the condition of course by the condition of course theek hai so how can i find out here how can i find out how can i find out the condition see let us find out this is my center one i mean what is the center one what is the center one here what is the center one what is the center two center two is of course 0 comma 0 center one is minus 1 comma 0 am i correct check kar lo get my point what is r1 what is r1 1 plus 0 plus 0 so 1 ho jayega what is r2 here what is r2 here of course see am i correct any doubts either any doubts people tell me now what is center one and center two distance between center one and center two kya hota hai 1 of course 1 Center one and center two distance formula. You just apply. You just apply center one. I mean, you just apply distance formula to find out C one, C two here. I got one. Am I correct? I got C one, C two as one here. Perfect. Yes. Now check it out. Check it out. What exactly the condition you are getting here? So which condition is going to satisfy here? Tell me. guys i do not know whether they are touching externally or internally let us take both the cases and check it out get my point let us take both the cases and check it out theek hai c1 c2 is one here c1 c2 is one i know that first let's take that if if touching touching externally agar in externally touch karta hoga to kya hoga Touching externally. What is the condition? Just now I told C1, C2 is equal to R1 plus R2. Okay, C1, C2 is one here. In fact, R1 plus R2 is what? R1 plus R2 is what? One plus C. One plus C. Deco. So C is what? Zero. C is what? Zero. C is nothing but what here? Beta. Deco. C is nothing but what? Radius is equal to zero. How come radius can be zero? Yes, it can be zero. But if radius is zero, it becomes a point circle. Am I correct? Am I correct here? रेडियस इज जीरो मैंने बताया था आपको रेडियस जीरो होगा अगर तो क्या होगा इट बिकम्स अ पॉइंट सर्किल ठीक है रेडियस इज जीरो बेटा आई कैन नॉट एबल टू ड्रॉ लाइक यू नो सर्किल व्हिच इज विजिबल राइट रेडियस इज जीरो इज नथिंग बट इट्स अ पॉइंट सर्किल ठीक है तो अगर ये तो नहीं पॉसिबल होगा मेरे पास ठीक है सी जीरो नहीं हो सकता है अगर सी जीरो होता मैंने सर्किल भी नहीं ड्रा कर सकता हूं ठीक है तो इफ टचिंग इंटरनली लेट अस टेक इंटरनली ठीक है अगर इंटरनली का कंडीशन क्या है इंटरनली व्हाट इज द कंडीशन ऑफ इंटरनली व्हाट इज द कंडीशन फॉर इंटरनली हम c1 c2 is equal to r2 minus r1 am i correct this is the condition of internal all right this is the condition of touching internally all right ha c1 c2 is what here one am i correct R two minus R one, yeah, R two R one minus R two. So why you are taking R two minus R one? Why can't we take R one minus R two modulus? Guys, I do not know which radius is greater and which radius is lesser here. So let us take modulus R two minus R one or R one minus R two modulus. Anything is correct. Anything is correct. All right. So let us take R two minus R one. What is R two here? C minus R one is what? In fact, one. So मुझे क्या करना है देखो अभी. What should I do here? What should I do here? Tell me. Here again, I'll be having two cases. Again, I'll be having two cases here. What are they? Look, brother. If I just to get rid of the modulus, look, man. So if I just remove the modulus, what would I get? Plus R minus C minus one. Am I correct? Do you agree with my point? Yes or no? Brother, look. Modulus x. I will remove. I will get this. 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 I will
am i correct modulus if i remove the modulus i would get what plus or minus plus dekho now case 1 case 1 c minus 1 is equal to 1 c minus of c minus 1 is equal to 1 c is equal to 2 and here minus c my plus 1 is equal to 1 So minus c is equal to zero, c is equal to zero. Again, I'm getting c zero, which is not possible here. So c value क्या होता है? Answer is two here. Get my point? Again, I'm getting c zero here. C is nothing but what? C is nothing but what here? C is equal to radius. Am I correct? बेटा c is equal to radius here. As per the given condition, as per the given question, my radius two is is equal to c. Radius is equal to c, but I got c value as zero. Radius two cannot become a zero. If it becomes a zero, I cannot frame a circle. Yes, in fact, it is a point circle. You can't frame a circle which is visible. All right. So, in fact, you don't have any option with a zero. So, of course, c value can't be zero. Of course, c value is what? So, finally, c value is what? Two is the right answer. Right? Getting my point? Getting my point, children? Hello. Hello, guys. In a this concept, we no. have already, already we have done, already we have done. Just I'm applying the concept, concept explanation. Like you know, we have done a couple of days back. I'm just applying the concept. Yes, I'm repeating again. If you are not revising the notes, please don't join the class. Please, it's a kind request. Kindly, it's my kind request to everyone. If you are not revising the notes, please do not join the class. Revise the notes, then join the class. आपको रिकॉर्डिंग वीडियो लेक्चर देखना है तो क्या करना है आपको रिवाइज करके रिकॉर्डिंग देखो ठीक है अंडरस्टैंड यू कॉन्ट यू कॉन्ट ज्वाइन द क्लास विदाउट रिविजन विदाउट रिविजन यू कॉन्ट ज्वाइन द क्लास प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू आर रिवाइजिंग एंड ज्वाइनिंग इट ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो इनफैक्ट लास्ट क्वेश्चन होता है आपका देन विल स्टार्ट पैराबोला इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास सो फाइन द Find the number of common tangents to the circles, guys. Whatever the question I'm taking here, these all are previous year questions. ठीक है? ये जो questions मैंने दे रहा हूँ पूरा previous year questions है, ठीक है? So from this, what exactly you are understanding? Yes, these are the you know this is the depth of the question. You know this is how you know this is how you'll be getting a question in JE mains. Which means you have to be perfect in this concept. ठीक है हम हमको पता नहीं circles में से कहाँ से पूछेगा question. We are not sure from which concept they ask. Whether he can ask from the equation of the tangent in various forms. We can whether he can ask you know from normal form. We do not know. We have to make sure that we are ready to face any kind of question. Which means you have to be perfect at the concept. You have to be perfect in the formulas and make sure that. You are revising the notes so that you'll be perfect in that particular area. I'm sure. Okay. So find the common tangent to circles. X square plus y square plus two x plus eight y minus twenty three equal zero, and x square plus y square minus four x minus ten y. Minus nineteen is equal to zero. E is dash. One, two, three, four. ठीक है, ठीक है. Now this is a this is a homework to every one of you. See, find the number of common tangent. I need to find out. I need to find out what is basically what is the what is the first thing you have to do here? Finding center one, center two, R one, R two. Distance between center and center one. I mean center one and center two. Then just identify, identify the number of common tangents. पहले आपको क्या करना है? First, what you have to do, you have to identify which condition we are getting here. As per that particular condition, you have to go for the number of common tangents. आपको condition नहीं पता चलेगा directly. You can't find out common tangent. ठीक है? So make sure that you are just you know finding which condition you are getting as per the C1, C2, and R1, R2. ठीक है? From that, identify number of common tangents. All right, so it's a homework question. Make sure that you are solving this, and I have given a circles worksheet as well. Am I correct? Have Have I given? Guys, did I give the worksheet on circles? 
hello did i or not if not i'll just give it to you today if yes make sure that you are finishing that worksheet and submitting before the deadline okay thank you goodbye all the best you may leave now thank you